Malta Moreno Vega, president of the Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute, and I'm proud to be an Afro-Latina. The Afro-Latinas Who Rock Award is important for a multiplicity of things. One, obviously, as an individual, I'm honored that young people uh, are catching on to this work, see this work, see the work that I'm doing reflected in themselves and continuing the work. But it also means that there's a conversation, a broader conversation happening amongst us. One that is filled with pride, with admiration, with history, with legacy. One that says that we're proud to be in the skin that we're in. And there's nothing better than to be proud to see yourself in your beauty and in your globalness, because through our veins run African blood, the Moors of Spain, the European, the Native American, the Asian. We represent the world and we bring the solution to the world. I come to my identity to my parents. Um, I was born in East Harlem, a Puerto Rican parents, first generation. Uh, born in El Barrio, East Harlem. And my parents always were conscious that they were black. I think that the newer generation or the evolving generation really needs to connect to their historical legacy, their history. Um, the advice is learn about who you are, where you come from, where your people come from. Uh, the achievements, the struggles that our people have had. Um, it, there's no pill that makes you an Afro-Latina instantly, right? It's a matter of consciousness. It's a matter of understanding your history, understanding the experience of your parents, and looking in the mirror and seeing who you are. I get my consciousness from my grandmother, from my mother, from mentors and people I admired. Julia de Burgos, poet, Antonia Pantoja, uh, activist, social worker, Evelina Antonetti, parent, uh, activists for education. Um, so many, so many women before me. So I'm a continuum and the younger generation is a continuum of my generation. And I think it's important for us to realize that um, we're not starting anything new. This is a, a more visible, right? Articulation of who we are as African descendants in the Americas, Afro-Latinas and Afro-Latinos in the Americas. But we have to understand that we're a continuum. I started the Caribbean Cultural Center because I was really trying to find a way of connecting our experience as African descendants. And after being the second director of El Museo del Barrio focused on the Puerto Rican experience, right, and looking at the African experience in Puerto Rico, one of my mentors, Ricardo Alegría, anthropologist of Puerto Rico, said you can't look at Puerto Rico isolated from the rest of the Caribbean or Latin America or Central America so that it's important for you to connect the dots. And I uh, was reading a letter in um, the Schomburg Library, in fact, and it was a letter from Altura Alfonso Schomburg, Afro-Puerto Rican, to Nicolás Guillén in Cuba, Afro-Cuban, poet laureate, introducing Langston Hughes, poet and writer from the United States, African-American. And Arturo tells Nicolás, please introduce Langston Hughes to the Afro community in Cuba. And I was blown away by that letter because I felt like how simple, right? Writing a letter and connecting three people from three different cultures, all African descendants. And that was the birth of the Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute.